Hey guys, what's happening? Uh, finally got done with this print. This thing actually took about a couple days, but I mean, I had a lot of failed attempts. Layer shifts. Like, that's supposed to be flat. But, as you can see, it was a layer shift. And um, I recently upgraded my uh, Marlin 2.0, and uh, I forgot to readjust the current. But, uh, yeah, I actually have this, this happened before in the past, but let me show you real fast my printer back here. So if you're getting layer shifts or, or skip steps, I mean, the first thing you want to do is check your belt tension. But uh, for me, I already know what the problem is. Um, I rarely ever have this problem with the X axis. It's always usually this heavy gantry. It's always usually this heavy, heavy Y axis. So that's actually one of the reasons why I even upgraded to a larger motor. Like my typical motor, I think, is about uh, 34 millimeter on X and uh, Z is 34 millimeter. But then I put a much larger 48 millimeter in the back. Now, that 48 millimeter driver or stepper requires a lot more amperage to control than your typical default Mylon 2.0 is 800 milliamp. Um, for me to get good steady prints on this larger stepper, I need to give it at least about 1,000 milliamps to 1,200 milliamps, or 1.2 amp to 1 amp. And um, yeah, if I don't do that, I get those like uh, the skip steps and, and layer shifts. Um, and then also on my on my extruder, I'm on a little pancake, and this thing runs at about uh, depending if you have a gear reduction or not. Um, right now I have it at 600, and uh, it can go anywhere from 450 to, to 600. Yeah, the main thing is you want to get it, you want to make it warm, but you don't want to make it hot. So that that's the trick is make sure it's not super hot, but also make sure it's warm, because if you undercurrent it, then you, that's when you get the skip steps. Same thing. So let me show you how to do that. So this is actually a, an older style, uh, well it's a new older style LCD that interfaces direct with Marlin. And uh, yeah, so if you actually have one of those like, uh, one, one of those color touch screens, these typically don't interface directly with Marlin. So you can't mess around with your like your driver settings and stuff. This is not, this is more like a mini computer that sends out G code directly to Marlin or to the, to the uh, serial board and Marlin. So it's not actually changing Marlin. Whereas this thing actually is interfacing directly with the Marlin firmware. And that's why I can actually modify the uh, driver current settings with this. So for this one, it's under uh, TMC drivers and driver current. So right now I currently have the uh, Y to 1200, the X800, and the extruder at 600. So for my printer, that seems to work pretty good. But yeah, originally I had this thing set down to 800. You know, the which is the Marlin 2.0 default. And uh, that's when I was getting all those layer shifts. Like, it didn't have the torque to overcome uh, some of these, like, heavy jerking or, like, uh, I was getting a little curling, so the actual, the, the hot end tip would probably hit it, and it wouldn't have enough torque to overcome it. So, um, but now I'm actually working good again. So, um, yeah, so if you're actually running a Marlin or, or any sort of trinamic driver, um, you know, check your, check your current levels. But uh, this is an easy way of doing it and, and thing, but you can also, my, I'm running 2209s and they're in UR mode. So Marlin can control the driver directly via serial protocol. Um, but if you didn't have that, you could, um, you know, you could modify them with this little trimmer pot. This is the old style doing it, the, the, the what's it called, the legacy uh, way of doing it, uh, where you don't actually have serial protocol, you don't have Marlin controlling the, the uh, driver current so you could do like a little Phillips screwdriver and I made another video about that but um yeah or, or you can also do in the console I made another video about how to do in the console but so the purpose of this video is if you're having layer shifts and you have trinamic drivers uh check your current mainly on the Y bring it up so first try to bring it up but also you know, look at the basics like uh, you know like a uh, belt tension and stuff like that but Cool. So if you're having this problem, hopefully this helps somebody. All right. Awesome.